Welcome to this video on the Asian citrus psyllid and the threat to California's plants. My name is Robin Barker. I joined the Master Gardener program in 2017 after a 16-week training class. I have no background in horticulture, but my experience as a librarian is an excellent preparation for a program whose mission it is to extend research-based knowledge and information on how horticulture, pest management, and sustainable landscape practices to the residents of California. Many of you would be great candidates for our annual fall class. Google Master Gardener Program of Contra Costa County and join us for more information. But today, I want to talk about the Asian citrus psyllid and its threat to California citrus. Citrus is very important in California. The first citrus trees were planted in California's Mission Garden not long after the state was first settled in the late 18th century. 200 some years later, California is the nation's leading supplier of fresh oranges, lemons, and mandarins. It is estimated that more than half of all California residents have a citrus tree on their property. I actually have four on my deck. Citrus is a part of California's cuisine, landscape, and economy. Commercially grown citrus contributes $7 billion in economic value and employs more than 22,000 ind individuals in California. Unfortunately, our trees are under attack by the Asian citrus psyllid. The psyllid is a small insect about the size of an aphid. If you look at the picture on the left, you can see that you can barely, actually you can barely see the tiny little psyllid on the finger in the photograph. The psyllid life cycle. It has an egg stage, five wingless intermediate stages, called nymphs and winged adults. The life cycle is very quick, only taking about four weeks to complete. You can see that the nymphs grow progressively in size, each time stripping off their outer shell in a process called molting and getting just a little bit better. They are much smaller, though, than they appear to be on this particular diagram. So you can see here, there's pictures of the adults and some nymphs, and they're very, very small. Adult psyllids can feed on either young or mature leaves so they can survive year-round. When feeding, the adult leans forward on its elbows and tips its rear, up, rear end up in a very characteristic 45-degree angle. The female lays tiny yellow-orange eggs, tupping, tucking them into the tips of uh, the very newest leaves. They are difficult to see because they are so very small. How can you find it? Well, you look for the nymphs on the young, tender leaves and stems, which are all the only plant parts that the nymphs can eat. The nymphs then produce waxy tubules that direct the honeydew away from their bodies. These tubules are unique and easy to recognize. Thus, you look for the nymphs only when the plant is producing new leaves. As the psyllid feeds, it injects a salivary toxin that causes the tips of new leaves to easily break off. If the leaf survives, then it twists as it grows. So you can see the damaged leaves on these infected trees. Why do we care? Well, Asian citrus psyllid is a carrier for Wong Long Bing or citrus greening disease. The Asian citrus psyllid can pick up the bacterium that causes Wong Long Bing disease and move the disease from citrus tree to citrus tree as it feeds. The bacterium then blocks nutrient flow in the tree. Wang Long Bing means yellow shoot disease in Chinese. 
because the bacterium causes the leaves on some of the branches of citrus to turn yellow. Early symptoms of the disease also are a blotchy model, an asymmetrical yellowing of the leaves. So you have here two pictures. One is a picture of leaves that are impacted by the Wang Long Bing disease, and it has this sort of tie-dye almost pattern of yellow on the leaves. And then you see something very different, a nutrient deficient um, plant whose leaves manifest in a more symmetrical and orderly uh, yellow and green, and this is caused by a deficiency in zinc. Long Long Bing disease prevents the fruit from developing the proper color. The lower half of the fruit may remain green, which is why this disease is also sometimes called citrus greening, and you can see that in the picture on your left. Even more devastatingly, though, the Wang Long Bing causes the fruit to be small, oddly shaped, with aborted seeds and bitter juice. The fruit grows crookedly, forming uneven segments, and the seeds are aborted. There is currently no cure for the disease. And in as little as five years after a Wang Long Bing infection, the citrus tree stops bearing fruit and eventually dies. The disease is difficult to diagnose because it takes nine months to two years for the bacterium to spread throughout the tree to a sufficient level that the bacterium can be detected when the leaves are tested. So looking for the psyllid and finding a psyllid is an early warning that there's a possibility that the tree may be attacked by the disease. Where did this come from? Most likely, Asian citrus psyllid and the Wang Long Bing disease came from India or China, uh, riding in and or on citrus or closely related plants. The disease first showed up in the Americas in 2005. And this map shows in green places where areas that have both the Asian citrus psyllid and the Wang Long Bing disease, and in orange where we have the Asian citrus psyllid but not the disease. And you'll see that there are only small areas within the uh, Western Hemisphere that have the uh, Wang Long Bing disease. That's a Florida, it looks like Cuba, and Brazil. The Psyllid was first detected in backyard citrus trees in southern Florida in 1998. The psyllid spread very fast, both by flying, that's moving from tree to tree within the green areas, as well as also being spread by riding on nursery plants, and those are the blue areas. And some of those plants include the orange jasmine that were moved between retail nurseries throughout the state. Wang Long Bing has been immensely damaging to the citrus uh, industry in Florida. They have the, along with the canker disease, the Wang Long Bing has reduced citrus production in Florida by 50%. In March 2012, Wang Long Bing was found in a residential tree in Southern California. Most likely an Wang Long Bing infected tree or just infected budwood was brought illegally into California and planted or grafted onto a residential tree. The disease just sits inside the plant until a psyllid arrives and picks it up and moves it. So it wasn't really a threat until the psyllid arrived and then the multiple threat, not only the existence of the disease, but its ability to be transmitted. The situation currently is much more dire in Southern California than in Northern California. In Northern California, there are no known instances yet of Wang Long Bing and only occasional finds of citrus psyllid on trap cards placed on citrus trees. It's much worse in Southern California. In Southern California, Asian citrus psyllid is spread throughout the county you can see these blue outlined areas which show there are quarantine areas for the Asian citrus psyllid. And 
the Wong Long Bing is found in LA, Orange, and Riverside counties, mostly in, resident, in residential areas. And you can see the areas on the map that are outlined in red is where the Asian citrus salad is in Southern California. In those areas, it's a very serious situation. Trees that are infected with Wong Long Bing have to be cut down and removed, and residents are encouraged not to plant new trees. And so those are areas where uh, citrus growing may become of something of the past. Contra Costa County is in a quarantine area for Asian citrus salad, but not Wong Long Bing. How can you help? You can help by checking your, your citrus trees monthly using a hand lens. Focus on where you see tiny new leaves forming and look closely for signs of the psyllid. Remember the adults fly and so they may be hard to observe and the eggs are very, very tiny. So the best way to search for the nymphs, which are stable and going to stay in the same place because they don't have any wings, is to look for the waxy white tubules. And then you know that you possibly have the Asian citrus psyllid and it isn't just an aphid. What plants should you check? Well, the, the Asian citrus psyllid attacks all types of citrus and related plants in the Rutaceae family. So you're not just looking for your the things that we accept are citrus, like lemons and limes and grapefruits and mandarins, but you also need to be looking at kumquats, uh, cherry orange. The orange jasmine is a tree that's much more common in Florida, but not expected, it's not anticipated that that would be something that you would need to check for a citrus pest. Another plant to check is something called the Indian curry leaf, and that's what's pictured in this slide with the uh, black and uh, reddish berries. And that is oftentimes preferred by restauranteurs or gourmet cooks because of the special scent and flavor of the leaves. Unfortunately, it's also a favorite host of the psyllid. Shipments of Asian citrus psyllid infected plants have been found at airports. They actually now have dogs that are trained to, to smell or to scent the, um, the Asian citrus psyllid. What if you find the psyllid? Uh, it's recommended that you, A, either call our county ag commissioner, and I've listed uh, his name and phone number, or the California Department of Food and Agriculture hotline that's listed here. And the number is 800-491-1899. They ask that you put the psyllids in a clear plastic bag, or not the psyllids, but the leaves or whatever infected areas. Uh, clip it off your plant, put it in a plastic bag or a clear jar or pl other plastic container securing it so that it can't escape if they ask you to bring it in so that they can check it at agriculture or office in Concord. They will instruct you then if they find that you have the Asian citrus psyllid. Even if you don't find the psyllid, you should change your behavior somewhat. And that is be careful to plant only certified disease-free citrus plants obtained from a reputable nursery. And this applies to graft budwood as well. Sometimes people like to belong to groups where they change or they exchange pieces of plant material from their, from their trees and other plants. And at this time, with the risk of this Asian citrus psyllid, this is not a good idea to engage in this practice. And generally, don't move plant material around the state or out of state. And if you like to share the fruit from your trees, uh, wash it, and remove all stems and leaves that could potentially harm the psyllid. When it comes time to prune your trees, uh, make sure that the green waste either dries out for two weeks before placing it in the green bin, or double bag it before putting it in your trash can, or chip and shred it to dry before disposing of it. 
there is hope. Scientists are releasing a tiny parasitic wasp that lays its eggs inside the psyllid nymphs, or the wasp egg hatches, and the baby wasp then eats the inside of the psyllid, which is sort of disgusting, but it then kills the nymph. The wasps are specific to the psyllid and pose no risk to people. It is hoped that the parasitoid can reduce the psyllid population in urban areas, halt the spread of the disease until a cure can be found for the disease itself. You can help this process by controlling ants around your citrus trees. Ants farm psyllids like they do aphids, and they attack beneficial insects like this parasitoid. I cover the main, if I find ants on my tree, I cover the main trunk with a non-sticky tape, placing cotton underneath it to increase the efficacy of the barrier, and then coat the exterior with tanglefoot or other sticky stuff so that the ants cannot pass. Where can you get more information? Please visit our ucanr.edu.sites on the Asian citrus psyllid. You can either take down the link here or Google uh, UCANR and citrus psyllid. UC uh, Integrated Pest Management also has pest notes and quick tips for homeowners. Thank you very much for attending or for watching this video today, and I hope that you were able to find the information you need about the Asian citrus solid.